Um, I wonder if we could talk a little bit about the skills that a modern art CEO or director should possess. So is it about having good financial nows? Is it about having good fundraising and people skills? Or is it more about those core CV skills like man management and good you know, organisation? Or is it a combination of all of those things? So I go first? Yeah. I mean, I think it's um, predictably a combination of all of those things. I think that you need to have a deep-seated passion and enthusiasm for what your institution stands for and what it does. If you haven't got that, then you no chance. You have to um, have the ability to um, uh, recognise and play to your own strengths and, comp uh, and equally recognise and compensate for your weaknesses, to build a team, to inspire a community of interest amongst all those people who work for and with um, your institution. I think that is absolutely essential. Um, relationship building skills um, are vital, um, particularly in a context where you know, I'm very clear that my role divides into three chunks. 5% you know, of my time is spent on what we should do, 25% on setting the tone for how we should do it, and 70% is helping um, garner the uh, resources to enable us to do the rest of it. And that's all through relationships one way or another. Mm. Um, and I think the other is resilience. Um, you know, it's a, uh, um, tough old world out there, things are changing quite fast, um, funding environment is um, difficult. I think you have to have the inner um, strength, determination to um, stick up for what is important and hold true to it, um, no matter what happens. Um, but I'm not sure that those skills, to be honest, are that different from um, the skills um, that have always been required. I think the most successful arts leaders have always had those um, those skills. And Martin, same. Um, I mean, nobody's watching us. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, first of all, it's, it's all about Alex. I absolutely agree completely. And I agree also that it's probably, it was probably the same in the 19th century. And, you know, it's, and it's even probably the same if you were in a, a car company or. Um, travel agency or you know what I mean it's I mean you have certain skills to work with no matter what kind of topic it is or content uh -huh. but at the same time working in a museum today means I mean you run a you run a coffee shop you run an enterprise you run a publication house mm -hmm. you run an age travel agency you run um, uh, you're part of FCO yeah. for an office. You, um, I mean, you, you. I mean, honestly, I I recommend to be to to make an internship in a hotel because you're like a hotel director. I hope you're fine. Is your room okay? Uh, do you want to have a drink? You know, it's this kind of you're a bit of everything. Yeah. But at the same time, you run one of the most beautiful collections of the world. Yeah. And. I really insist, and Alex, I think it's probably the same for you. A museum is a museum is a museum. It's mm. about the collection and the collection of the garage. And for you, it's about the music and music or whatever, or the, or the liberator and so on. At the same time, you have to be open to all the different kind of business. And this is kind of try to find a balance for the institution. You know, just to stay with your core business at the same time open to new ideas. Well, how difficult is that for you personally? to kind of balance those things. Does it go week by week? You know, this week I'm doing, I've got my manager's hat on, and next week I'm doing more kind of, of the, the wonderful museum, museum, museum stuff. I think there's, but it, I mean, it's, it's not a management recommendation. I think you have to be authentic. Once you start to do something, you are not convinced. I mean, my first wife always said, don't pretend to like somebody because everyone sees in your face that you don't like them. So it's this kind of, it's, it's this kind of, it, it's, you you feel it or you see it if you're not if you're not authentic. Mm -hmm. I think you have to be convinced that it's it's that's the best thing for the yeah. for the company. That's the best idea for an exhibition. This is exactly why do you want from an artist or whatever? Why do you yeah. pretend that this is the best thing? Nobody will believe you. Yeah.